Well guys, it finally happened. It's a common problem on the older first gens, first gen Cummins, but you know, the late great D150, D250, D350, lower driver's side hinge completely came off. I have a, uh, a Cummins way back over there that this has already been fixed on by the previous owner. And, and I promise you, it was fixed horrible. So I'll be doing it to that one again eventually. But uh, yeah. It kept getting worse until it got to this point. It's my fault for not fixing it sooner, but I went to get in it this morning and uh, she just straight fell off, or at least the bottom hinge. Top hinge saved her. But, uh, you know, I noticed a few other stress cracks in it from opening and closing and whatnot. So I'm going to see if I can't get it fixed up today and maybe show you guys a video of it. So aside from getting this bracket fixed and welded back onto the door, I think I'm going to also have to do something about the actual hinge itself. There's uh, quite a bit of play in it. I mean, the truck is like 30 years old, if not more. And this top one's not horrible. There is a little bit of play, but I'll probably end up replacing it as well. I uh, haven't looked into whether they're available, but I, I imagine LMC truck or eBay or China or my buddy Jim that has a, you know, a junkyard. I mean, somebody's got to carry one. Okay, so from how it looks, because I have never done this before. This is the piece of the door, thin sheet metal. These two pieces, this one used to be added to this thick sheet right here. The back one is just pinched to that thicker sheet. I guess it gives you a little bit of shimming room, moving room, whatever. So, to me, what that means is I need to unbend these tabs, get this plate off, bend them back straight so that after I get this piece welded back into this hole, then I can take the back side through the inside, probably that speaker hole down there, and slip it in and then somehow fold these tangs, these little ears, back down the hole and then there's still the task of getting this guy on there i have to do a little bit of hammer and dolly just to flatten shit out and to be honest it'd, it'd probably be better to make a new section and cut out a lot of this <coughs> but it is uh two o'clock on a friday and i close my shop at five so i'm this one might be a band-aid, but it's not going to be as bad as a band-aid as the Cummins over there. I'm going to have to take a picture of that one to show you guys. All right, let's see what I can do. Well, we got her fairly flat back in there. I think we're going to clean it up just a little bit more and, uh, and get her tacked in and then adjusted and then we're going to weld her out. We'll, go from there. well, I've got this piece welded back in. Um, this sheet metal does lay flat on here and it gets pinched between this guy and the hinge itself. So I did have to grind it as flat as I could, but all in all, not horrible. So I got a little spot right here that I'm probably going to touch up a little bitty, little bitty pour right there. I think I got a little, little bit of the crack still going there. So I'll probably kind of grind in there, weld it back. And, uh, I think I have a little bitty pour right there. You can actually see through it. So. We'll probably fill that guy up real quick. And then we'll start working on all this sheet metal that we need to get back down. I've got a few other cracks 
that I'm gonna try to take care of while I'm at it. I did have to make a, a little bit of a special tool here so that when I go to get in here, I can come in and bend those tabs on the back side of this. I need to bend them around this guy to hold it in place. So. Well, we're getting close. Er. So I'm not a body guy. This might be horrible. I know the fit up isn't amazing. And like I said earlier, I should have probably cut out an entire section and made it easy on myself. But it's Friday. I'm trying to get out of the shop. And uh, this is what we're doing. So if there's any body guys out there, let me know what you think. Does it suck real bad? Is it half decent? Is it just is it, is it just shit? We'll find out in the comments. Stay tuned. Well, I've still got a little bit more work to do. A little bit more welding, a little bit more tacking. That used to be a pinch weld, spot weld, so that needs to get welded back. But it's getting a little late. And the wife wants me home and I want to be home. Kids are calling my name in my heart. But uh, I think I'm just gonna spray some primer, put her back together, and uh, we'll worry about those other cracks later this weekend. And maybe we can get the video finished up or maybe we'll do a two part thing. This vehicle is my grandfather's truck. It's a 93 D150 and it is fuel injected not carbureted i love this thing in the past i don't know 14 years i've put maybe six thousand dollars into it and that's everything that's tires that's oil changes that's maintenance it's hard to beat it but uh eventually this has a lot of sentimental value to me eventually this entire truck will be getting restored so i'm not too worried about this not being 100 percent perfect because i will make it that eventually time and money right well i think i am gonna call it a night and we'll see if uh, we can't make a part two to this take it easy So the paint shows me I definitely got a little more work to do, but I already knew that. It's just starting to get darker and darker out here. And they closed, they closed the bridge. Right over there, there's a bridge that crosses the interstate. It's called Cotton Flat Bridge. The bridge is literally gone. They took it down. And so now it takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to get home from the shop, as opposed to it used to be 10. I don't like Oh, well, we got her back on here. We're adjusting her. We're shimming her out. Jose's on his phone. Here's my Cummins. Here's the door. It's gonna need to be done as well. Only this one's gonna be so bad. So bad. I kinda wish they hadn't have uh, painted the interior. But I do like the red. It matches my 
D150. I wish they had left it in the tan. But whatever. I think eventually I'm going to make it all black. I like that I still have the uh, headliner backing. My other truck does not have the headliner backing. But yeah. Good old first gen 12 valve intercooled.